this video is about how to make uh, YouTube videos. Um, the first thing um, in making YouTube videos, there are three main points that are important. Number one is the story. You have to edit the material, and this is extremely important. This is almost as important as a story. And also, you have to consider copyright um, issues. Okay, so what do we do? Well, first of all, we need to create a directory. We need to get organized. We need to get a sheet of paper and write down all the ideas we're going to cover in the video. Uh, we need to know how many videos we're going to use, how many pictures we're going to use, put everything in the directory. Okay, as far as copyright thing is tricky. Um, ideally, one thing we'd like to do is to be able to demonstrate things and show things and, and do like uh, Peter Pie does. Um, this is fabulous. It is really unbeatable what he does. Um, but Peter Pie does things that's really hard for most people. He's actually using a lot of content that you could get in a lot of trouble with copyright on. Um, and so this would be like the number one choice. Number two is Casey Neistat. Casey Neistat has this new 368 and he's spending close probably to a million dollars for a five-year release on 368. It's a large room. Uh, he puts a lot into it. He has a lot of skill sets and he has massive amounts of cameras to use. And he uses drones and other things to cover his footage. And so most of the content he has are from movies that he's taken himself. And so he doesn't really have the problems that you would have trying to copy him over Peter Pie. Next um, is I Justine. I Justine's been doing this for 20 years. Um, she has a lot of expensive equipment. Um, she spends a lot of money uh, doing things, and she does a really good job on what she does. Uh, next uh, is Peter Gregg. Well, Peter Gregg um, is an expert, but he doesn't do the fancy editing stuff. He just concentrates on his knowledge of cameras and demonstrating different features. This is great, but it doesn't bring the hits that you really want. Uh, next would be Ed Pratt. Ed Pratt is a really young guy who rides unicycles around the world. Uh, Ed Pratt is really good at what he does, um, but he carries everything on his back all the time. Um, he has a lot of talents he's not using, and it's really sad. Um, and finally, Marcus Brown. Marcus Brown ha has been doing YouTube videos for some time, and he does an extremely good job. He has a lot of very expensive equipment, and most of the stuff he does um, is by manipulating things with expensive equipment. Uh, this is beyond most YouTubers. Um, and now, finally, software. Well, of course, the best software is going to be either Final Cut Pro X or maybe Adobe Premiere. Um, those are the best and the top. Um, I'm using Blender on this thing, and depending upon the operating system you're using, if you have Linux, there are tens and twenty different kinds of uh, video equipment you can use. Some things will be easier than others. Um, in this example, I'm going to be using a Blender on this particular video. Um, and so, um, this is an example of things you can do to set things up. Uh, the copyright thing is going to be our most serious challenge. So the more stuff that we use on our own without taking pictures or using things other people's content, the better off we're going to be. Um, and so if we have any content, we would prefer it to be things we take ourselves. But the editing of it is critical. And being able to add different kind of things into the video is one thing that we're going to really have to do in order to excel at this. Um, anyway, this is all I have to say for today. Uh, if you have a chance, please subscribe. And thanks a lot.